Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and this is the daily scan for uh, Wednesday, April 10th, 2013. Well, the market looks like it's going to open up in a positive mode today. Uh, well, Uncle Ben keeps pumping money in, so the market keeps going up. Uh, you've heard enough about that though. Uh, gold is down a little bit this morning. Silver is still hanging there below 30. Can't get above 30. Gold can't get above 1600. And oil is at 93, which is down a little bit. I did fill up yesterday and I, I felt a little pretty good. It was, uh, it was about 15 cents lower than the last time that I filled up. I don't fill up all that often. I have a big tank and it takes 20 gallons and it's a big price to pay. But, you know, overall, it's okay. Let's take a look at what's going on today for announcements. Any market movers? FOMC minutes at 2 p.m. Um, this afternoon. That's uh, Ben and the boys. Uh, Federal Open Market Committee is what they're called, I believe. And then we got the Treasury budget. I have no idea what that is, and maybe I should read up on it. But other than that, watch for something maybe at 2 o'clock this afternoon if you feel like it. Otherwise, it is what it is, right? We never really fight what's going on out there. We just go with the flow. Uh, yesterday for me was kind of busy. Um, first of all, I mentioned that I was going to close the Apple um, Bear Call, and I decided not to. Let's take a look here at the chart. Um, I just, first of all, um, this is a big gap here, and you would think that, yes, you should be able to um, close that and be at 80%, but if we look at the Analyze tab, and if I would have closed it, let's just go here and we'll say let's analyze the opposite trade. Well, today it's at 11, is that the same one? 460, 465. Today, if I would have buy it back, it would be 11 cents. Yesterday it was around 20 cents. At least this morning it's saying 11 cents, so I guess I could do 11 cents. Uh, when I looked at it on the monitor tab, I was looking here at the difference between the two, and I guess uh, if they're far enough apart, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, 11 cents I can live with that. So. I think we'll do it today. Make a note of that. Close Apple. Okay. Uh, what else happened yesterday? Uh, the alert went off on Netflix, and I was not feeling comfortable about what I saw when it went off, which was about 11.30 or so yesterday. So I decided to uh, just kind of hold off on it. Even though, you know, this looks pretty good here, I was a little concerned about this um, little hook here that's forming on the 50. I don't mind it coming down and testing the 50, but when it comes down and just blows right by it, then that makes me just a little bit nervous. Although, long trend wise, it is definitely looking negative. So, it hit too many things going against it for me to do a um, any sort of a bullish trade on Netflix. So I decided against it. And remember back here I was thinking of doing this uh, April one. And I did not do that April one. Okay, so we think that, or at least I'm thinking that on Netflix we got stochastic on long term down we have the MACD, both short-term and long-term, on the long-term chart. Just moving average and current, both moving down. Just uh, 
wasn't really looking good and I didn't like what I was seeing so I took a pass on that one I did close the oh that's why that line is yellow I did close this one yesterday and let's take a look at how that looks on the account statement now let's go back 30 days I already paid two or I collected 231 for it and I closed it cost me 20 cents for a total of two dollars and eleven cents times 200 so that is a pretty good trade I'm pretty happy with that one what else did we do yesterday oh I decided also yeah I talked about waiting on Apple so that was yesterday today is today let's take a look at everything uh, this Chipotle, um, this is the, so here's, here's what happens with these, um, 510 iron condors is, um, when they move away from their neutral position, their delta neutral position, they look bad, uh, they really look bad but um, what you have to do is you have to take a look at the chart and make sure that you're not seeing anything that you know could like freak you out so they had a kind of a big pullback yesterday and this actually came back down here I mean it was even it was in the 300s and now it's back to the 200s but still with a week and a half to expiration and one standard deviation being below our short strike I think that we're in pretty good position here so we'll see what happens today alright now back to the monitor tab what else should we be looking at here um, the 510 on Amazon, let's take a look at that. I opened that yesterday. Put some money where my mouth is. And we have to shut a bunch of stuff off here on Amazon in order to see that. This is it right here, the 510. We're looking at $310 for May expiration. Um, go look at that on the chart. This is what it looks like on the long-term chart. So we have until this mark right here on the date-wise, 513 roughly, for it to play out uh, within this range right here between the 210 and 295. Uh, definitely moving this out to May and we're looking at one standard deviation here uh, we look like we're in pretty good shape unless of course it makes a sudden move in either direction especially to the upside because it's going to fall off the white line falls off sooner and quicker on the upside than it does on the downside uh, but looking at a chart even though it was up a little bit yesterday um, it's still behaving very nicely and definitely no concern on that at this time rest of the positions uh, let's see here this mass this particular MasterCard one let's take a look at a chart oops kind of go over to it here all right so oh okay here we uh, did a um, a bull put trade, and Mastercard didn't do too hot yesterday. As a matter of fact, it even went into the money there for a while yesterday, and it seemed to pull back up. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that, see if we can detect anything here for the open. No, nothing shocking there in either direction. So we are not concerned about that one. We do have earnings coming up. 
um, next month, middle of next month approximately. Well, earnings on 5-1. Well, in the, between the strike, uh, I mean expiration dates. <laughs> Those are really more important to me than any month. The expiration dates are the most important. So I think I think we're going to be okay there. We just have to wait a little while for that one to play out. I'm not going to panic on that particular one at this time. And the insurance policies um, are still out there, although they are becoming less and less relevant as time goes on. I will say, though, I wanted to just peek at this, um, not the IWM, I wanted to take a look at the RUT. Pretty happy with this particular trade right now. This is the double calendar that I have on the RUT, and uh, it's working out pretty nice for right now. It's you know not like losing any money and this uh, the tent here the low part of the tent in between the poles is um, kind of fluctuating somewhat but it was down to 500 bucks a couple days ago and now it's back up into the 600 range so we're just gonna let this one work itself out and we have until next month to worry about anything there I would like to see it up a little bit higher actually so we have some room for downside movement we just have to keep a close look on the chart for rut make sure that uh, you know at least it's trending up somewhat and that's what we're, we would be looking for for right now so that we can get some more time decay on it but we'll see how that works out just like everything else, right? We'll just see how it works out. All right, now let's go to the A plus list. Throw our chart up here. Uh, pick our style as load style. Oh no, we want to do this. Go to the swing chart. Here we go, and we're ready to rock. Okay, we want to close this down a little bit. Uh, not have so many days out there. Oops. Put 10 days on there. Well, where did this come from? Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Apple. I know this is a little small for you guys. Looks good to me, though. Um, Apple. Okay. Uh, we're still in this one. We'll probably get out today. Downtrend. Up, up. No entry. All right. We got a lot going on with Amazon. Uh, Amazon. Downtrend. Uh, we have a target coming up here. So let's just slide this one over to here. And we'll see if uh, this turns out to be something that we might be interested in. So that's just a target and alert. And Baidu downtrend. Uh, we might be coming up with an entry. We will move this target over to here and we will delete this one. And this one's even older. Okay, so we have a new target looking for uh, maybe to add to the current or, you know, we just don't know. We'll just see how it uh, works itself out here. April Iron Condor, okay. Oops. Uh, CF downtrend uh, we got a hook we got a hook on CF alright we're going to put an alert out here somewhere below the open yesterday let's put it right here and we want to go below alright so we have that alert set on C. F. Oops, I don't need to do that. 
All right. Um, we have an iron condor on this one. We have an uptrend, but we're up here, up here, no entry. Salesforce, uh, beginning of a new downtrend, but and no entry, and we got this stock split coming up. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit just so I don't miss it. Let's put it here. Come on, let go. Sometimes I'm telling you, I bet you I'm going to get a performance alert here. So we're just going to stay away from that one for right now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these arrows. Arrow one. Oh, let's see. Delete. Arrow one. Delete. Drawing. Delete this drawing. Sorry to take up your time. Oops. Deleting stuff. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're ready. Okay, uptrend. Um, remember what I mentioned about blasting through that 50 as maybe an indicator of a uh, change in direction? So staying away from that one for right now. Got burnt here a little bit, just to the tune of like a little over a hundred bucks here, but still got burnt. So I am going to wait on that one. We got uh, MACD on the long term, heading down. MACD on the short term, heading down. Actually, be looking for a trend reversal trade here, if we get any sort of movement up in the stochastic here. Master card. All right. Okay, this is the one we talked about a little bit yesterday. Uh, we got in uh, on this hook, and we're just waiting for this to play out. Not going to be adding anything to that, that's for sure. Netflix looks a lot like Google possible trend reversal trade here um, I didn't like this so actually I am going to move this up here as a trend reversal trade so we'll be looking for stochastic to come up here and give us a hook to get in or even maybe just up to it would be definitely a stronger indication actually if it only comes up around here to 45 between 45 and 65 that would be a good indication of a potential strong uh, indicators for a trend reversal and then two P's did I? I did that today okay um, another possible trend reversal here um, it's kind of strong for Priceline. We are in this April one here. I'm going to have to make sure that we keep a very close look on it. I think I'm going to put an alert here. If we drop below here, and this is not uh, an alert to get into a trade, but an alert to possibly get out of a trade. If it goes off today. Otherwise, no entries on anything there because of the reversal, possible reversal. And Panera, um, still trucking, still on its way up. No entry, however. So, we just be careful about that one. And we will be watching. Okay. And that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.